Hi, I'm Barry Van Dyke. This is my father, you probably recognize, Dick Van Dyke. We'd like to talk to you about a project that we feel very, very strongly about. Something we, we really want to do, we want to do together, and it's something that we feel is, is very, very worthwhile. And uh, we'd like to talk to you a little about it. Well, you know, for me, I'm 91 years old, and it, it's not exactly a career move. <laughs> this is something I'm involved in because it's a story that I think has to be told, has not ever been told. And uh, we owe it to several hundred thousand vets who are out there who would like to see it made. And it's going to change people's attitudes. So it's got to be done. Hi, I'm Adam Monterith, and this is my brother Donovan. We wrote and directed the Emmy Award winning short film Reveille, which is about an Army man and a Navy man fighting over a flagpole in a retirement community, which stars David Hulston and James McEachin. And James used to call the film the little film that could because it garnered such an amazing following online and overseas. We decided that the story was much bigger and needed to be told on a grander scale. So we wrote the screenplay for a feature film called Capture the Flag. And in Capture the Flag, the Army man and the Navy man recruit the other veterans in the community to wage war against each other in a game called Capture the Flag that would give the winner the right to raise the flag every morning. We took that screenplay and we showed it around Hollywood a little bit. Uh, and, you know, it garnered a lot of attention, uh, including Barry Van Dyke, who passed on to his father, Dick Van Dyke. The first time I heard of Reveille was when uh, we were working with Adam and Donovan on, a, on another project, and he said, would you take a look at this short? This uh, is just an example of our work, just an introduction of what we do. I said, I'd be happy to. And I took it home and I watched it, and. I was just blown away at, at how it affected me. And I got so, I was just so moved, I laughed my head off, I, I got choked up. And I thought, is it just me? And I meant everybody in my family, I had them sit down and watch this. My kids are all grown, they come over at different times. As soon as I got there, I said, sit down and watch this. And everybody had the same reaction. It just choked up and moved. And I thought, this is such a brilliant gem of a little piece, and there's no dialogue in it. Everything is conveyed with the two great actors, David Huddleston, who passed away, we lost, and James McEachin, and the writing. And there's so much crammed into the eight minutes, I just thought, this thing is brilliant. It's so moving. These guys did such a beautiful, beautiful job. So when I saw them, the first thing I said was, this is just screams out to be made into a, a feature film. And Adam ran to his car and he came back right away and he, here's the script. <laughs> so they're way ahead of me on this. But then I read the script and I just thought, they did just an incredible job of expanding on the humor and the spirit and the whole feel of the short and just populated it with these great, just rich, well-developed characters that were funny and touching. And I, it just, I was flabbergasted. It was so well done. And I said, this has to be made. This has to be made into a film. And I said, I'm in. If you can use me, anything I can do, I'd love to help. I just wanted to be a part of it. Uh, so Adam had said, do you think your dad would take a look at this script? Just to get his opinion, you know, his professional opinion on the humor and just the drama of it. I, sure, I'll try, I'll give him a call. And he's, I called him and my dad said, sure, you know, send it over. Within an hour or two hours, I get the call back and I, it just blew me away. He said, I, I want to do this. This is me, I want to do this. He says, Lou Gossett and I could kill this, could just knock it. I said, are you serious? You wanted, I didn't know he wanted to get involved in a feature. You know, he does so many different things. He's so busy. He said, no, I'm in. If you can get these, tell them. If they want me, I'm in. Yeah, I called Barry immediately after I'd read it. What struck me, the first of all, was the, the authenticity. I felt it. I, there were, and there was a message in there, but it was so subtle. There's a strong message. It never hits you over the head with it. It just kind of is writing in the story the whole time. And I, as I said, it's a story that should have been told so long ago and needs selling for the sake of an awful lot of people. And any vet will look at this thing and, and cry. And this script makes you cry and then laugh. The fact that the comedy in it is credible, it's based on real experience, there's nobody trying to be funny. It's just the people are funny because of the way they are and what they're involved in. And I love the fact that it is true that the, oh, the service rivalry still exists. I don't care if we were in, in the Korean War, Marines and sailors and soldiers just will get into it. They get into it. And that rivalry is there, but it's so much fun 
when these guys fight each other. The, the, first of all, it's very well written, and the characters they're thinking about having in this script are aw awesome that we grew up with. And I think the younger audience needs to know the dedication that these uh, veterans gone through, and it still means something to be called a veteran. So I think these veterans, they're still about that. I'm gonna put that flag up and I'm not gonna let that guy put it up first. So I love that part. And I love some of the action, which I'm not gonna discuss, but some of the cool stuff that we can do in this movie that uh, will be really funny and exciting because it comes out of the characters, not just because of the stunt itself. So when my dad came on board, we approached their dream cast, basically, and just took a shot out of the blue and approached everybody and said, can I just get you the script? I knew if we could get them the script and they could see the short, that we'd have them. But I didn't expect it that fast. I and mean, Lou Gossett called me within an hour or two, just like my dad did. He said, I'm in, I'm in, uh, however you do this, I'm in, let's do it. Literally everybody, John Amos sent me an email, and I, I'll misquote him, but he said something to the effect that he was, it was an honor to work with such a cast that people were putting together. But this isn't just another job. This is an obligation. He said, it's a common statement I get from everybody that read the script or saw, yeah. we have to make this. This movie has to be made. And everybody was so enthusiastic, it was contagious. So, you know, we just got it to as many people as we could. And everybody jumped on board almost immediately, so. Well, I was, I was trained to be a fighter pilot. And it, it's, a, it's an eight hour mental exam. You have to pass that certain IQ. And the physical exam is incredible. I took the physical three times. The first time I couldn't make the weight, I was six feet one, I weighed 135 pounds. You had to be 141, I think. So they let me keep coming back. So I knew where the men's room was. I went in, I drank water, I ate a bunch of bananas before I went in, just tipped it at 141. Six weeks later in, uh, in basic, I weighed 170 pounds. <laughs> Every minute I got in, we'd been pulling chocks and changing spark plugs and that kind of thing. And they said, some of you will be going overseas as tail gunners in B-24s, and the rest of you will be assigned according to your abilities. I tap danced and sang right on the spot. Dun, dun, dun. And I got in a, in a USO show, special services, uh, entertaining. So a uh, cowardice got me into show business. <laughs> Why, why do you want to do this kind of movie? You know, really, it's about competition. I was thinking about that when I heard it. It's just like a football game. Well, you got the Army against the Navy. It's about competition. And I think that's a great part in this script. You know, who's going to put the flag up? Who's going to be the first one to do that's, it? That's good, Alan, but it's not everything yeah, yeah. is about competition. Yeah, it is. It's, it's and because all, you're, stick, you're stick about with, to lose your job stick, stick on that. <laughs> During the patriotic holidays, we always see war films. We never see any family-friendly comedies. Something about the veterans that tell people about the service and sacrifice that the veterans have made on our behalf. Forever was a family movie, this is it. For kids to see it is just as important for anybody else. It's a performer's dream. As far as, I, as an actor, I can't wait to do it. So we have a phenomenal cast, an amazing script, we are excited to tell this story, so please join us. Help us build an audience where we can tell Hollywood that there's a place for family patriotic films like this.